Go home, you broke jobless old lady. What's the deal with you coming on this trip for free? I was utterly disappointed with my family as usual. I'll show you all what hell looks like. I decided to take action against them. While enjoying some alone time away from my family, my brother called me. Hey, what did you do, sis? My name is Lucy, a 30-year-old office worker. I've been dating someone for about three years now. His name is Alan, a true gentleman who treats me well and cares for me deeply. We initially met in college. He was my senior, and I often sought his advice whenever I had work-related concerns or personal issues. Each time, he listened attentively and offered sound advice. After becoming working adults, we continued to meet up regularly. One day, he confessed his feelings, and we started dating. Since then, our relationship has been going smoothly, and we've been enjoying our time together, contemplating marriage in the near future. Then, one day, Alan proposed to me. Lucy, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Yes. And so we decided to get married. We immediately informed our families about our engagement. Nice to meet you. I'm Lucy. Oh, we finally mate. Huh? I've heard so much about you from Alan. You're just as cute as he said. I don't know about cute. Go on, have some confidence. Come in, come in. Thank you. Alan lost his father a few years ago. And now, only my mother-in-law to be. Mother-in-law lives in his family home. I was anxious about whether I'd get along with her, but she's turned out to be incredibly kind and wonderful. We had a delightful conversation over tea and snacks. Lucy, you're such a wonderful person. I'm so happy you're going to be Alan's wife. Mother-in-law showered me with compliments, something I wasn't used to, leaving me a bit flustered. I'm looking forward to your wedding. See you, Mom. Thank you for today. The meeting ended on a positive note, and I felt relieved. But next, I had to introduce Alan to my family. A thought that instantly brought me down. The reason is, I don't really like my family. The root cause lies in how my parents treated me since I was a child. Both my parents excelled in sports. Mom was into track and field, and Dad was a soccer player. They were so good that they got into college on athletic scholarships, and naturally they expected their children to excel in sports as well. However, I didn't have the athletic ability they hoped for. My parents always wanted me to excel in something, so they had me try out various sports. I remember doing basketball, swimming, table tennis, and even figure skating. But the truth is, I was never athletically gifted. I was average at best. And that wasn't enough if you wanted to be top tier. My parents were clearly frustrated. Then, my brother Kyle was born. With high hopes for a boy, they also got him into sports. Turns out, Kyle had a knack for soccer. When the local youth coach said, this kid's got talent. My parents were thrilled and shifted all their attention to Kyle. Kyle is truly a genius. Our child is definitely something special. Their words implied that I was the exact opposite, a disappointment. They favored Kyle in everything and acted like I didn't matter. Even as I grew older, into middle and high school, they never paid me any attention. I focused on my studies and did well, but they said, being good at studying is meaningless, dismissing my efforts. When I wanted to go to college, they told me they couldn't afford it, so I used scholarships to get by. Meanwhile, Kyle continued to excel in soccer and even got into high school on a, on a soccer scholarship. My parents were ecstatic. He's definitely going pro. We can do anything for Kyle. Growing up so adored, Kyle started to look down on me. Lucy, you're such a loser and a jinx. Even mom and dad don't like you. If you aren't here, they could invest more in me. You're such a burden. <laughs> Kyle would often insult me like this, and my parents never corrected him. You really are a burden. Wasting money on you is what they mean by unnecessary expenses. Hearing this from my own family crushed my self-esteem. 
I managed to get into a decent college and landed a job at a well-paying company, but my self-worth remained low, and my achievements were always overshadowed by Kyle's successes. He got into college on another soccer scholarship, and my parents were even prouder than ever. By then, I was already working and struggling to pay back my student loans. Kyle was still living at home, showered with love, attending college, and playing soccer. But the path to becoming a pro wasn't easy. In the end, Kyle couldn't go pro and had to find a job. Still, my parents were proud, and Kyle continued to live happily at home. Every Christmas, when relatives gathered, my parents forced me to attend. They introduced me as their disappointing daughter, and Kyle as their pride and joy. But Lucy is doing well and has a stable job. Even when relatives said that, no, no, Kyle was much more impressive. <laughs> my parents would brush it off. Seeing this, I was always disheartened. My family treats me like that. At some point, I stopped participating in Christmas gatherings. I stopped attending family gatherings and hesitated to introduce them to my fiancé, Alan. Alan knew about my family's attitude, but still wanted a family meeting. So after years, I decided to go back home. I called Mom to tell her the news. What? No, how are you? Or it's been a while? Just a cold response. It's awful that she treats me like this, even though this is the first time I contacted her in several years. What do you want? Um, I'm getting married. So, uh... My fiancé wants to meet the family. Can we arrange that? Why should we go through such trouble? Just get married on your own. That's it? I was disappointed by my mom's coldness. But then I heard Kyle's voice. Mom, who are you talking to? It's Lucy. She wants to have a family meeting because she's getting married. Uh, really? Uh, sounds fun. I want to see how lame her guy is. Let's invite them. If Kyle says so, then fine. Then Mom told me. All right, you can come for the meeting, she said. I was feeling a mix of emotions after overhearing a conversation between two people. Still, they mentioned wanting to greet me, so I decided to visit my family on my next day off. Be prepared. They might treat you horribly. Yeah, I get it. But if that phone call was any indication, you've got quite the family, huh? This isn't a joke. I've had a tough time with them. Sorry, sorry, but if we're getting married, I want to meet your family. We'll make it quick and leave. Okay, and so we drove to my family home. No one came to the door when we rang the bell, so I used my key to let us in. Upon entering the living room, I saw my family sitting on the sofa. I was surprised to see an unfamiliar young woman there. But first, I thought we should say hello. Hi, everyone. It's been a while. This is my fiancé, Alan. Nice to meet you all. As I introduced him, my family looked at Alan. Wow, I thought Lucy would bring home some boring, unattractive guy, but you're actually decent. Al started off with a rude comment, making even Alan chuckle awkwardly. Kyle, who's that woman next to you? Your girlfriend? I was annoyed that Kyle had brought an unrelated woman to a family meeting we'd scheduled in advance. Then Kyle dropped a bombshell. She's my wife, Mia. We've been living here since we got married. What? Wife? I was so shocked, my eyes widened. Wait, you got married? Yeah, last year. I had no idea. I raised my voice, and Mom looked annoyed. You're so nosy. It's none of your business if Kyle got married. I was stunned. Kyle had gotten married without telling me. I was frozen, absorbing the shocking news. When Dad spoke to Alan, I'm not interested, but what do you do for a living? You're marrying Lucy, so it can't be anything impressive, but let's hear it. I snapped back to reality at Dad's words. I couldn't let them belittle my fiancé. As I clenched my fists in anger, Alan gently restrained me. I apologize for the rudeness. Here's my card. Alan handed his business card to Dad, who looked at it dismissively at first, but then widened his eyes. You're a lawyer? Dad exclaimed, and Mom and Kyle and Mia were also surprised. Wow, this is amazing. Elizabeth, get some tea for our guest. Right, I'm on it. Wow, a real lawyer? 
So cool. My family's attitude changed instantly. Even Alan was surprised. I never thought Lucy's fiancé would be a lawyer. You should have told us sooner. Is your salary really high? Buy me a designer bag for my birthday. I was dumbfounded by my family's shameless comments. Mia especially audacious. And to think she could say such things to my fiancé, Alan, upon first meeting him. Alan was responding with a wry smile. Moreover, you can't say such things to my fiancé even though it's our first time meeting each other. Alan answered with a wry smile. We're going to be family, so let's get along, Mom said, but I had a bad feeling about this. Then, at a meeting between both families, my parents and Kyle's family were very active participants. Even my mother-in-law seemed a bit taken aback by their enthusiasm. After the meeting, I apologized to my mother-in-law but she had already heard from Alan. Don't worry about it, she said with a smile. I felt relieved. My mother-in-law is genuinely a good person. Two months later, Alan and I got married. My family, who had always been indifferent to me, all attended. After the wedding, they started contacting us frequently. Why don't you two join us for dinner sometime? We know a great restaurant, Mom would say over the phone. I suspected they were after Alan's money since he was a lawyer. But I wasn't falling for that. We're a bit busy, so we can't make it right now. We'll let you know when we can, I replied. All right, we'll be waiting. We're free anytime, Mom said, her voice full of enthusiasm. I was thoroughly disgusted. They didn't care about me. They just wanted to take advantage of my marriage to a wealthy man. After not contacting them for a while, Mom called again a few months later. When are you going to join us for dinner, Lucy? She asked in a cloying voice. Sorry, we're a bit busy. I said, ready to hang up, but then Mom said, We're planning to celebrate my half-century birthday, she continued. Your father and I did raise you through high school. You know, it wouldn't hurt to show some gratitude. I could sense her growing impatience for us to treat her well. But she had a point. I had paid my own way through college, but my parents had supported me until then. Maybe it was time to show some gratitude, as Mom turned 50. All right, we'll join the celebration. Really? We're planning a family trip, so come along. A family vacation? Huh? I wasn't thrilled about it. But then I thought it could be a chance to spend some quality time alone with Alan. When I mentioned it to Alan, he agreed. So we decided to join the family trip. When I told Mom, she was ecstatic. Could you handle the reservations? I'll send you a bunch of URLs for hotels and plans. What? Mom sent me a ton of URLs. Reluctantly, I checked them out. They were all for luxury hotels and high-end restaurants. How extravagant does she plan to be? I was annoyed by my family's endless demands, but figured this might be a one-time thing, so I went ahead with the bookings. When I called to say the reservations were complete, Mom was overjoyed. I can't wait. Thank you. Finally, the day of our half-century family vacation arrived. We planned a trip to Florida. We boarded the plane, and everyone seemed excited. Both my parents and Mr. and Miss Kyle seemed to be having a lot of fun. Upon landing, Alan and I told the family we'd go our separate ways. They tried to get us to shop for souvenirs with them, but I dodged that bullet, and we went off on our own. We agreed to meet up for dinner at the high-end restaurant we'd booked. Time flew by as Alan and I enjoyed sightseeing. Then we went to a fancy restaurant. We arrived at the restaurant where our parents and Kyle's family were already waiting. You're late. Well, we still have ten minutes until our reservation. Suddenly, Mom and the others changed their tone. We weren't talking to you. What? We have business with Alan, not you. Thank you for covering the cost of this fancy dinner and hotel stay. What? Alan was confused. Kyle and the others turned to me. You're done here, Lucy. What? You don't deserve any of this, you parasite. What are you talking about? They raised their voices. Go home, you jobless loser. What's your deal, coming on this trip for free? I was disgusted by my family's behavior. So that's how it is. They plan to exclude me from the start. You'll regret this. I decided to take action. I whispered to Alan. Fine, I'll leave now. 
I said. Our parents and Kyle's family looked smug. As they went into the restaurant with Alan, I quickly made other arrangements. Luckily, a good hotel had a cancellation, so I booked a room and checked in. I relaxed in a lounge with a great view, sipping coffee. Then Kyle called. What did you do, Lucy? What do you mean? Alan's gone. I have no idea. You whispered something to him, didn't you? He's usually clueless, but sharp when it matters. Sure, but it's no big deal. I told him I'm staying at another hotel, so he should join me whenever. You're kidding. Alan left before the food arrived and never came back. We had to pay the bill. Well, it's Mom's special celebration, isn't it? Shut up. You'll get the bill later. Kyle hung up. Soon after, Alan arrived at my hotel, grinning. Did it work? Were they mad? Yeah, they were furious. They're hopeless. You were going to pay for everything, and they still acted like that. Even Alan was dumbfounded by their behavior. We shook it off and enjoyed a meal at the hotel's upscale restaurant. We returned to our room and relaxed, waking up refreshed the next morning. We got up and enjoyed some sightseeing. We didn't want to fly back at the same time as our parents, so we changed our flight to an earlier one. While waiting for our flight, Mom called, furious. Hello? What's up? I thought you didn't need me for anything. What's the meaning of this? Why is the hotel bill due at checkout? That's how I made the reservation. Don't joke around. We can't afford $1,000 per person. If you enjoy the luxury, you should pay for it, unless you want to get arrested. Stop it. You're so arrogant for a parasite. You're the one who needs to stop. I was planning to cover all the expenses for this trip as a way to give back for all the years you've supported me. You messed up by kicking me out. Wait, you were going to pay for all this? That's what I've been saying. There's no way you could afford that. Don't underestimate me. I work at the headquarters of a major corporation and even serve as a manager. I earn significantly more than Dad and have substantial savings. Really? Mom was speechless, but it didn't matter anymore. I decided to cut ties completely. I have to board the plane now, so goodbye. Wait, hold on. I hung up and blocked all their numbers. Luckily, they didn't know where we lived or worked so they couldn't show up unannounced. But my foolish family did storm the law firm listed on Alan's business card. They caused a scene, demanding to see Alan and disrupting business. Kyle even broke some office equipment, leading to their arrest. After splurging on the family trip, they now had to pay damages and fines. Both Dad and Kyle were fired from their jobs. Now they're all working part-time jobs, living in poverty, and constantly fighting. Talk about getting what you deserve. Meanwhile, Alan and I continue to live happily. I'm pregnant. And we recently celebrated the birth of our beautiful daughter with my mother-in-law. I plan to cherish my family, Alan, my mother-in-law, and our daughter, and live a joyful, 